that Tony Hawk came out. Hawk, yes, it did. The how are we how are we pronouncing that? Tony Hawk one and two. Tony Hawk. One Tony Hawk's two, Pro Hawk. Skater 1 and 2. 1 and 2. 1 plus 2. Tony style... Hawk's Pro Skater 3. They style... <laughs> That's right. They style it with a plus, but I'm going to say and. Yeah. Uh, seems like that Give means... it the same respect you would a Kingdom Hearts title. Okay. All right. So let's move mm. on then. <laughs> uh, seems like that thing hit pretty well. It's great. Yeah. It's so good. It's great. It is great. Uh, it is a fantastic um remake of the levels from those two games it uh brings in all the moves from like much later games in the franchise to give you a lot of combo options almost too many like some of the goals in the, some of the Tony Hawk 2 levels that you had to solve kind of a certain way like with the enhanced tool set of like thug or thug 2 it's fucking trivial because <laughs> you're just like, oh, pop, 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 pop. Okay, we're there. Jeff, Jeff, um, that's very easy for you to say. Yeah, you okay. have been keeping up with Tony Hawk. As somebody who's watched a lot of Tony Hawk and remember, I was like, yeah, I was good at Tony Hawk back in the day. I was pretty good. I picked it up and I'm having trouble getting to like 60K and stuff. Yeah. It, it, it's cool though. I'm, I'm having fun with it. I yeah, so I guess that's the thing is like these levels are these levels and they added goals to the Tony Hawk 1 levels to give every level in the game 10 goals total. Originally those levels only had 5, but in Tony Hawk 2 all the levels already had 10 goals so those are just the same goals that were in original Tony Hawk 2. Uh, I finished both those games. Well, all, I finished that all the way, basically. Um, I saw you say that and I was like I've got like I got like six goals. Oh, and Jeff Jeff has everything. Okay, cool, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, I that that's that maybe took me three and a half or four hours or something like that to to just finish all the goals and basically like get all the stat points and goals. So that's mm -hmm. that's full stats with one skater and complete all the goals on the levels. Um, and like miraculously, they actually added like the the whole level system they added to it. Like you're leveling up a profile that governs unlocks and stuff like that. Um, they have added a lot of additional challenges and things to do in that game that are fucking hard. Um, and I wish that they did a better job of surfacing that stuff. Um, so that if you were trying to do a specific thing, you could just kind of like leave it on screen and go like, okay, I need to do, cause it's stuff like, um, you need to do one combo that incorporates these four gaps. Uh, mm -hmm. And and some of those gaps will be pretty far apart. And so, like, okay, the idea of doing one combo that traverses this entire like line uh, is is pretty hard. And also, you have to remember that. And and sometimes that can be uh, tricky as well because the gaps aren't labeled in world per se. You have to then figure out, okay, well, okay, if I jump from this rooftop to this this rooftop, that's that gap. Then what's where's the rest? And figure out that sort of thing. Um, but it's cool that they have all that stuff in there for people that want more. Um, I think the questionable thing they did here is it used to be, and I go back and forth on it. I've seen people complain about it, but like, mm. so it, like they, it used to be that you could complete the career with every single skater in the game and every career progression was kept separately per skater. So if you completed all the goals with say Bob Burnquist, you would then switch to Tony Hawk and be able to play the entire game again. And they would govern unlocks around stuff like that. Like if you 100% of the game with every skater, they would give you something or or whatever. Instead, what they've done is they've made it so the goals only get completed once, but the stat points need to be collected with every skater. So I 100% of the game with Bob Burnquist. But when I switch to Tony Hawk and jump into those levels, all those goals are completed already. All I do is go and collect the two stat points in the level and then quit out and go to the next level and collect the four stat points there and then quit out. And and it's it's kind of a weird... It, it's uh, a little soulless at that point if you're like, well, I want to level up this skater and, and, do the, and, and get all the stats for this skater so I can use this skater to do other stuff with or, or whatever. Um, it kind of makes that process a little soulless, I guess. But, but it's, it's kind of a minor thing. Yeah. Um, because they don't tie unlocks to you completing the goals. Now it's they compl they tie unlocks to you getting all the stat points. So like to unlock an ending movie for a skater, you just have to get all the stat points. What about the like um, challenge stages? The like uh, medals? Do you have to like? Do you automatically still have like a gold medal? Yeah, yeah, all that stuff's just done. Um, so you, you don't. But also, it's not only that you don't; it's that you can't. 
So if you want to do right. that progression again, I'm not sure actually how you would do it. They have other modes, like they added a new speed run mode that is like the timer ticks up and basically you need to get all the goals as quickly as possible. Oh, cool. Which is a, and they have an online leaderboard for that. Uh, they've got like a single session with online leaderboards for that too. And that stuff's well done. Um, yeah, I think like that, like it, they made it look really nice. It feels really good. It, it's it's. I hope they treat it as a platform and add like Tony Hawk three and maybe even four to it um, after the fact. Yeah, we got into that a little bit on the hotspot on Friday, but it, yeah, you're, yeah, it sounds like you know because this is forty bucks and it's two games worth of stuff. So if you look at that as yeah. like twenty bucks a game, like they could put out a couple of twenty dollar packs to get three and four in there. But yeah. do you think they could go beyond that? Like, how, how, first of all, how many mainline Tony Hawks were there? Were there eight? Ten? Uh, ten? Eight, nine? Ten, nine eight, yeah, it's Project around. 8 and this Proving eight. Ground, I think, is the last one. Okay. Like, uh, could, before or, Ride. Or, or did they just get so different at some point that it would not accommodate? They get so different that, like, when you think about it in terms of levels and two-minute timers and all of the UI that they've built around those concepts, once the, like, even four is kind of weird at that point because the levels in four got a lot bigger um, but certainly I think once you get to like thug one, it, it's kind of a different game in a way that it would, it would need more work. Um, is that, than... when, is that when you get off the board? <laughs> yes. Thug. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. American wasteland. You ride a bike. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. It was just a nice feeling when I, when I booted it up for the first time and watched the intro movie and just seeing like mm -hmm. everyone who's back and then seeing the new school skaters, um, and then looking them up and realizing some of them are younger than the first Tony Hawk game. <laughs> and yeah. Just That's cool. Like, oh, sure. fuck. <laughs> the choice to make all of the skaters from the original games the age they are now. Like oh, the wow. choice That's to deep. make them all look like a bunch of old That's dudes and the actual and three models Steamer. Yes. Yeah, have been, have been, wow. Age it's like, that, it's, wow. it's current day Tony Hawk. Wow. It's not... Okay, it's sure. not twenty years yeah. ago, Tony Hawk. Even it's, it's not eighties, Tony Hawk. It's <laughs> now. I really don't want him to fall. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're just getting up. They're like, oh, 50, so, fifty-two is the new twenty or however old Tony exactly. Hawk is. Exactly, it's so good. And and whatever, like, a lot of those, you know, I assume they're all still skating. I don't, I don't, you know, yeah, Tony oh, Hawk totally is. Um, and <laughs> it's just so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's a great game it's it's really awesome there are like a handful of things that i think they could have tweaked one way or the other for around some of that career stuff or or things they could even could could even patch in uh to give people the choice to redo the goals if they wanted to or, or whatever but um I, I think they did a really good job of like treating that those two games with the respect they deserve in a way that they didn't get last time around when they were remade. I mean, it's just the, or I, I think the people working on that game did have a respect for it back then, but it just didn't come out in the product. Like that thing felt wrong yeah. in, in a way that this feels right. And this feels right in that, that same way of like, it, it feels like a much more modern Tony Hawk than those games did originally. I think you nailed it, it when you said the, it feels like how you remember Tony Hawk feeling. Yeah, exactly. Like that's totally um and yeah it, it's a, it's a hell of a product they did a really good job with it uh it, it's it's what you want a remake to be in in awesome. almost every way and i don't know that i'm going to go back and like hit level 100 and and do all that stuff like i definitely want to play some more multiplayer um yeah. And and maybe try to do because they, they've added challenges like like to unlock special trick slots and costumes and stuff like that. They have a bunch of skater specific challenges that are outside of that core progression that are like do a combo that has exactly five tricks and only one revert, no specials. And it needs to get this, this number of points. And like they've they've added a lot of cool stuff like that that I wish the tracking was better, like in terms of just like put that on the screen like a MMO quest mm -hmm. so that I can always see what I'm working on. Um. But like that's it's it's great stuff that's in there that that gives you a little bit more to shoot for, um, and that's that's pretty rad. It seems almost improbable to me that it turned out this way, but here we are. It's just yeah, it's just been such a rough, <laughs> long rough road for Tony Hawk remakes and remasters and stuff. I mean, even remember the end of that franchise, like you know the diminishing returns they saw once they got to the 360. Even like once they got off of 
PlayStation 2, um, like everything post Thug 2, I think was just just downhill. Even, even arguably even before then, I think some people didn't really like the Thug games all that much because it got a little too jackass like. Um, but like, you know, American Wasteland is okay. Project 8 is okay. Proving Ground, like they're all okay. <sighs> Project 8. Like, mm. Project 8 is a little rough. Um, but it just got to a point where they'd been doing it a little too long, a little too annually. Like they had, they had burned out a lot of that goodwill. The new ideas weren't as good anymore. They did like that nail the trick stuff where you go into slow motion and focuses on the board and you kind of move the analog sticks different ways to make the board flip randomly. And it's like on paper, you're like, that's a cool idea in practice. You're like, ah, fuck this. This is like not actually fun to do. Uh, and they just lost the plot with it. And then eventually they just cashed it all in and said, here's Tony Hawk ride. Uh, right. And, God. Ride. Jeez. And then shred. Like, let's make a snowboarding Tony Hawk game because we sold these boards or actually didn't sell these boards. Um, so, you know, like that, that franchise was one of the first ones that I feel like Activision rode into the ground, you know? And, and earned them that reputation um, and it's cool to see them kind of get it back here in a way that even Tony Hawk 5 like it just makes Tony Hawk 5 look even more like this just like contractually obligated product uh, and, and just like well we got to finish up our business with Tony Hawk just pump this shit out do you think like, you know I mean this I feel like this game could sell very well. Like they did a good job. Everyone's talking about it. Do you think beyond adding, you know, maybe a two and or a three and four level pack or something like that, do you think they maybe want to take on a new Tony Hawk game? Sure. I think they I think if if they if this does well and if they do a three and four, whether that's a separate game or DLC for this one. Personally I like to, I would like to see it be DLC because I think a multiplayer hopper that can pull from all of those levels yeah. at once is like a more compelling um, thing than, than having two separate ones. It's like Halo Infinite. Totally. Or it's like Thug Pro. Or, uh, I mean, uh, Master Chief Collection. Is what yeah. It, it's, it's like Thug Pro. You know, like if they can build their own official Thug Pro, um, then great. Cool. Uh, and I, yes, I, th I would be willing to listen if they'd said, hey, we're going to make a new Tony Hawk because I think that they, they can reset expectations for the franchise with these remakes if they do it right. And then at that point, they can go like, okay, what do we view as the heart? What is the beating heart of the Tony Hawk franchise right now? Whereas like those later 360 games had just gotten so far down with so many weird rabbit holes that it was just like impossible to know what fans would want, I think, at that point. Um, and so, but I think like taking it back to this kind of more simplified structure, two minute runs, all that other stuff, which they kind of tried to do with with Tony Hawk Five, but they didn't have that foundation. They they didn't have that trust with the user base. They didn't have, and, and also the game sucked shit. Like Tony Hawk Five, it cannot be overstated <laughs> how fucking bad that game is. The level design, the goal design, the feel of it, the idea that it was this kind of always online thing that you're automatically connecting to a fucking lobby most of the time. Like, just bad ideas layered on top of bad execution. It fucking looked like shit. I, I, that game fucking sucked. <laughs> Holy shit. It was bad. And for them to be able to put this out and, like, eff effectively wipe away a lot of the memories of those last four Tony Hawk products, Ride, Shred, HD, and Five, like they have, they have earned it. They have gotten back to a place where it's like, okay, these are people that know how to execute well on what Tony Hawk was, and I would love to see them after like a successful like three and four remake. If, they, if that's like continually an upward trajectory, I would love to see them take a stab at just like, okay, we're gonna make some new levels now. And it doesn't have to be crazy. It doesn't have to be like, hey, we're going to put in 30 more grinds where every single one of them is someone pulls out a prop. And it's like, oh, I got a boom box. I got a guitar. I got a big rubber dildo. You know, like, like just it, they don't need to lean on that shit. I'm Darth Maul. Uh, yeah. Well, they they could have done better on that. Front, I think. 
because uh, I, I don't know for sure. I, 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 uh, uh, Officer Dick might be the only hidden character in that game. I haven't I checked. Think so. Like the idea that they put this out and didn't put Captain Price in it or like Frank Woods to be a more modern tie-in to some Activision. Crash thing. Bandicoot. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot would have actually, yes, another, that that would have been a good choice as well. Um, yeah, I and whatever else you know, pitfall harry i don't know what the fuck does activision even own anymore spyro uh, the dragon uh, yeah tracer oh yes yeah, so actually actually you know what yes like if it, reaper. put a put reaper. Put put reaper reaper. in it uh i'm and... doing the 900 <laughs> grind, yeah. skate, grind, skate. Grind. They, they could have done some some maybe some cooler shit though i guess like officer dick is played by jack black right yeah that... huh Okay. Cool, huh? So that's a that's a goofy little twist to it, I guess. Cast, I cast those early streams he did of the game in a different light, I guess. Mm. But mm-hmm. interesting, you know. There, I feel like those two are intertwined. Yeah, like sure. He has an interest in yeah, this sure. ball. Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool that that worked out. That's not. I don't think what anybody would have seen coming, but here we it's are. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> they, are. <laughs> they really nailed it, man. It's it's cool that they did it as well as they did it man yeah. it's it's impressive